Hey, Kevin, starting a collection? I had a question a little while back. I pick up found metal. How do I tell what kind of metal it is? So I've got a few pieces here I picked up out of the scrap barrel out back. This is an old cartridge a friend of mine down in Tucson sent up. It's a 30 millimeter case. It's from one of the A-10 close air support airplanes. So it's been sitting out in the sun a while, not only down in Tucson, but also here. So it's got a pretty good patina on it. You really can't tell what kind of metal that is. You figure, well, it's from a gun. It must be brass. Hit it with a wire wheel. Heck, that won't even take the patina off of it. But I got a flap disc on this side. That works well on it, but you don't get any spark. Against the stone grinding wheel even, no sparks. It's bright and shiny under there, like uh, aluminum or maybe stainless steel. Definitely stainless. So what else did I find out back? So I've got this monster lag screw. Picked this up along the railroad tracks. We were out picking up railroad spikes one time. What is it? It's definitely steel. There it is. You know, so it's definitely reacts to the magnet. It's definitely some type of steel. Think about where, it's, where you found it. Think about what it's being used for. Along the railroad tracks, high tensile, you know, strong, hard, you know, it might be high carbon. I'm really not sure, but definitely steel. What else did I find? Well, a piece of good luck if it's this way, a piece of bad luck if it's that way, a horseshoe. Well, of course, they're made out of steel. You know, you can do whatever you want with those. A propeller off of an outboard motor. It's actually fairly light for the size of it. So that would immediately say aluminum. You know, titanium, nah, too brittle. The spline inside here, where it would go onto the shaft on the outboard motor, you know, you're just feeling it. It's light out here, but there's definitely a lot of mass right here. There's something very heavy here. But you look on the back side, wait a minute, there's two different metals right here. This center spline has been pressed inside of here. Get out your magnet again. It doesn't want to stick, not steel, probably some sort of uh, stainless variation simply because it's on a propeller, it's going in the water, they don't want it to rust but they want something strong because there's a lot of torque. There's a lot of abuse right there. So it's more than likely an aluminum propeller with an aluminum hub with a stainless insert pressed down inside there. And this little guy, obviously been cut off here, obviously been cut off down here on the bottom. It's fairly heavy. Now it's got a certain amount of heft to it, but it's got this wild blue-green patina on it. It's copper. See the copper color here? You just have to figure out what do you have. Now do you have the right machine, the right welder? So Brenda, I hope that clears things up for you. Kind of helps you figure out exactly what it is you're picking up. I do appreciate you all watching. I would dearly love it if you'd reach up there and hit that notification bell for me and give me a like. I'll see you all next time. See, you got horse shit. See, that's the problem. You got horseshoes like this, and when you pick them up off the farm, they got the little horse poo just kind of stuck down in the cracks and crannies right there. And man, you get them out there in the rain, and good God, it smells like the back end of a, you know, south end of a northbound horse. I swear.